So you are um, into Airbnbs, yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. With an Airbnb, you can collect significantly higher than a typical rent. Yeah, it's, it's got to be Medieval the most times. unique, cool Airbnb in all of Utah. And instead of spending, you know, the 40, 60 hours a week building someone else's business portfolio, right. yeah. I could spend that same amount of time working on my own stuff. We are here with Aaron Kirkham. How's it going, man? Killing it and enjoying it. Thanks for letting us uh, pick you up in a limo, dude. Yeah, we are sure. here in the limo. It was a in your neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Sacrifice is willing to handle you. Know? That's right, man. So you are um, into Airbnbs, yeah, which is awesome because that's you know, especially with COVID and stuff. I know that's kind of looking like that's going to be kind of the new hotel. So that's awesome. Sundry, yeah. So tell me a little bit about your background, and then we'll ask you the big question. Sure. Um, so I'm from Idaho originally. Cool. Nice. Um, married a girl from Utah, and she decided to move to us down here. Got it. Uh, well, kind she, of. Wait, she decided, huh? Well, you know, <laughs> happy wife, happy life. That's right, yeah, yeah. Um, I got a job down in Mexico, actually, and so we went to Mexico, lived down oh, wow. there for about a year and a half. Oh, cool. Uh, it's kind of how I got into the hospitality industry. Yeah. And then after that, uh, my wife wanted to return home, so we found some place here and kind of got into real estate at the same time. And yeah. long story short, here we are. Here we are, man. So, there you go. And, and how many rentals do you have? Uh, so we have 10 properties that we manage, three oh, wow. of which are our own personally, okay. and the rest are for nice. clients. Okay, very cool. Okay, so let's, let's ask the question. Let's ask the question. So how man. do you make money? Uh, so probably the biggest way where we make money is through our short-term rental or Airbnb, okay. which okay. is um, client management services. So I mean, a great example is if either one of you guys had a house or a basement apartment that you wanted to put on short-term rental or Airbnb, uh, we would do everything for you. Wow. So you're like start to finish, property management, everything, cleaning, like yep. you got it covered. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. All right, and are you just here in the valley? Um, so for Utah, we have Ogden to Orem, and then we also have some in Idaho and Washington. Got it. Okay, so there's a rumor. I need you to confirm the Let's rumor. I, the, guy, the guy with the experience needs to give me some details. So. I've heard if you have a rental and you're collecting, let's say, $2,000 a month, that with an Airbnb, you can collect significantly higher than a typical rent. Yeah. So, I mean, traditionally how we break it down is in the cash flow. Okay. So, I mean, most um, people have, if they have a rental, they have their mortgage and, and so forth. Let's, let's just say $1,500. Okay. okay. They rent it for $2,000, kind of like your example. Make, make some money. So, their cash flow is $500. Bucks. Right. Most of the time with short-term rental, you can anywhere from two to three X your cash flow. Wow. That, that's what everyone says. Yeah. Now, I, I just rented some places in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. we, we tend to run away from the winter. And so I look at the numbers sometimes and like, I get the discount if I stay there for a month, but if I don't stay there a month and I stay there two weeks, it's like it's like the same price. Yeah. And I'm like, holy crap, man, these guys are making bank on the short on the short term rentals. Yeah. So, how, so why is that? Like, like, is it just is it just because there's more value in a you know one one to two night stay? Well, yeah. I mean, kind of to some degree, if you think about, it, I mean, if you put yourself in the same example, um, if you go to a hotel, you pay $120 for a bed, two beds, or kind of for that same price range, you can have a three, four bedroom house. Yeah. Um, at you know maybe let's say an $80 cleaning fee, so for okay. $200 for $80 more, yeah. you can have yeah. four times the space. Much better experience. And yeah, so I mean, that's kind of the hotel industry side how we're competing with that but at the same rate um, kind of how at, at most of the time with short-term rental it is you're putting more into it so I mean there's furnishings um, right. there's additional mm -hmm. softwares cleaning staff and so it's a higher cost and so yeah. but even still people are willing to pay for the luxury pay for those privacy things. man yeah I yeah. mean the reality most of our units that we've found to be hyper successful they have everything someone would need. Now, I don't necessarily mean that we all need a jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah. sure. I, I sure. personally feel like I need one every day. <laughs> Yet I, I still yeah. buy it. Yeah. But really, like, uh, I, we have one unit that it's in someone's home. So that's kind of scary, you know, letting strange, yeah. air quote, strangers into your home. Yeah. Yet downstairs, it's a downstairs studio, bed, bathroom, kitchenette, and it's got everything somebody needs. It's one of our more successful in occupancy. I mean, we can really, that one has about 100% occupancy since wow. it began. Dude, that's amazing. Just because one, it's economical. 
um, as yeah. well as it's got everything it needs. People have their privacy. Sure, you say hello, and your kids, you hear your kids every once in a while running above you. Right. But besides that, uh, it uh, it works well. So okay, so I want to I want to jam more about that. But before we do, so you got three properties yourself. You got seven that you're managing for other people. First off, tell us how you got into the three yourself. Yeah, uh, and did and did you intend right from the start to make them, you know, these air, short-term rentals? Yeah, uh, no, we didn't intend any of that. Um, so when we came back from Mexico, um, my and how long ago was that? That would have been, I think, four or five years. I okay. guess. Awesome. Um, maybe shorter. I'm really good with time. <laughs> <laughs> time uh, travel. Yeah, well said. Yeah, there you go. Um, but when we came back, we, my wife and I, we wanted to buy a home, but realized, you know, we want to save up and all that. So we were property managers, okay. living property managers for someone else at an apartment complex, so that we could save up money oh, yeah. as well as so you get free rent. Yeah, free rent. That's they sweet, they man. pay a little bit of stipend, a little, a little bit of work, a little yeah. cash. And so we would stay there for a while. We purchased a home with the intention of moving in, but we realized at the property management place, the rent was skyrocketing for the people there. So we okay. said, well, if it's raising there obviously we could probably do the same for our own yeah mm -hmm. so we took that home and instead of moving into it flipped it rented it long term and stayed another year at the property management facility so you really kind of pushed off what you wanted financially right and you made the sacrifice for another year was exactly. that hard for you and your wife I mean I think initially it was but realizing what the goal would be that someone would pay for our house for a year yeah so that really in that year we could then refinance get a better rate and all that game my yeah. wife would have killed me yeah, I would have killed me. Yeah, and it's, it's a hard thing. But but you guys had vision together. Yeah, one in mission. That's that's cool. Yeah, well, and, and it's emotional. I imagine when you buy a home, you're looking for the right home, and so then you find it, and then yeah, get. I mean, that's a big sacrifice to not move into it. Yeah, that's especially I mean, first home and all that kind of stuff. But um, there's a lot of programs out there for your first home, so that really for our first home, we only put two thousand dollars down. Nice, um, dude, that's awesome. Which is amazing, thanks yeah. to the government and yeah. people getting us in. Um, um, and then we just put a lot of money into it, flipping it, put people in there, and it, and it was just a steady cash flow, you know, yeah. four or five hundred bucks a month. So that's excellent. Um, so we kind of just let that cruise, and then we realized, well, since that's set, why don't we buy another house? Yeah. So we bought another house, more with the intention. It was a little bit larger, kind of thinking we could rent the basement and then move in upstairs. Uh, we did that. Times worked in. We moved in, and then we had the studio room that. I converted it into that, added a kitchenette, um, added the bathroom and stuff. The mother-in-law apartment it, type so it's situation? Not, not even mother-in-law. Okay. So, because mother-in-law is separate, meaning yeah. kind of a different apartment. Walkout basement. This one was totally in our house, studio apartment okay. kind of concept. Just because it could have been a studio room or it could have been like a playroom, a mm. TV room. Yeah. But we elected, well, let's try this whole Airbnb thing. So that's a, that's that was your first taste. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it's cool. letting total strangers into our house from across <laughs> the world. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, is another not creepy at all. Yeah, it is. exactly. Yeah. Um, and initially, when we started, my wife was super nervous about it. So, I mean, we installed a security system on the interior of our home as well as the exterior. Obviously, nothing inside that person's unit. Yeah. Um, just kind of with that whole safety factor. But we started it, and it was so wildly successful. Um, and to really? kind of give you an idea, yeah, give us some numbers. Can, yeah. you, can you tell us like totally. break it down? Um, so we put it on within 24 hours. We had six bookings. You're like, what the heck wow. happened? So you're like freaking out. Yeah, no, that's so totally dance. Was. It, this was October, kind of beginning of October. Yeah, and it was just like, this is gonna work. That's amazing. Now, as we kind of gotten into the game, we realized that our pricing wasn't as high as it should have been. So you People, start, it's it's good to start aggressive though. No, I mean really, we put it on there just thinking, let's just try yeah. it. if it works, yeah. great. If not, and well, what, what did you start at? Do you mind? Yeah, sure. it was like 40, 40 bucks a night. That's great. No cleaning fee. Uh, I mean, no wonder it blew up the shelf. Yeah, right? that's great. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's great. Um, and you know, for us at the time, in retrospect, you're like, oh, I should have charged more. Yeah. But we were happy and content receiving forty dollars a night. Sure. And yeah. getting that extra income, that it was totally worth it. So, so break break it down one more time. So you you had the upstairs and the downstairs. Yeah. So we're, and the studio. Yeah. So we're it's an upstairs. We're living upstairs three bedroom and all of that. Downstairs there is, in that same place, there is a studio and then there's the living room, or excuse me, a laundry room. Okay. And then right next to it is a mother-in-law apartment. Got it. So you, it, cut, you triple dipped. To some degree, yeah. And the That's trip, sexy. The, the mother-in-law apartment, we actually just, um, my, uh, my brother-in-law, they just got married 
we let them rent it, you know, Perfect. that long-term game, be yeah, sure. safe and sure. all that. Yeah. And so it was kind of that diversification. We have long-term that is stable and consistent, and then short-term that can be inconsistent nice. and risky. I now, mean, are you still upstairs? So as of right now, we're still upstairs. Both okay. units now are downstairs, are short-term rentals. Because it, you get more money. Way more money. And, and you're, you're comfortable. Are you it. living for free? Yeah, we do live for free. That's awesome. That's um, good, man. So the, the studio apartment at the time, uh, we were making per month $500 just from that room that's great and then the other one long-term renting we were doing 900 a month okay. cash flow cat no just, that just, so that's just gross, gross. Yeah, so gross. 1400 bucks yeah your and mortgage is probably around there huh yeah our mortgage on that house um 1600 at the time okay so you're like dude living so, for I mean, 200 bucks a yeah, month exactly you're, yeah um, that's freaking sexy after jumping into it and everything getting optimization pricings um dynamic pricing cleaning fees yeah we now in the studio we clear about 800 okay. and in the studio nice. about 1600 Dude, that's freaking wow. awesome. So you're at 2,400, wow. you're clearing 800 bones. Yeah. And how are you feeling? It's pretty cool. You're like, okay, let's, <laughs> that's, that's let's awesome. do it again. So you got a, a third house then. Yeah. And so, I mean, kind of the same story, just in Ogden and just playing the game, you know. Playing the game. So how did you get into managing other people? So you, at some point you're like, man, it's too slow for me to keep buying houses out of my own pocket. Well, well it's, not even, it's not even that. I mean, we're still, we're still playing that game and, yeah. and we'd like to do more of that. However, it just kind of, I mean, conversations like this, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, somebody, hey, I hear you're doing this whole Airbnb thing. Yeah. How does that work? What do you make? Is it worth it? And and long story short, it was just conversation of conversation that would lead yeah. to, well, can you do it for me? I guess, yeah. sure. Okay, yeah. so it just a natural extension yeah. then and, that and point. so from there, it just kind of grew until there was obviously the vision that this can be a full-time gig. Yeah. We just got to find team members that help fit with the facilitation, or we do it, or we need the softwares. Yeah. And so are you full time doing this now? Yeah, so, so uh, four months ago. Okay, That's so, awesome, so you, man. you left the, the job. Left the corporate and, world. Yep. How, t tell me about that. I, I, I kind of want to hear about like those conversations. Was it scary to say, hey, I think I think we got this. And, sure. and to just jump off the ledge. I mean, I leave the security of the insurance yeah. and the benefits. So, talk, talk about uh, that for a second. Yeah, my wife is way more riskier in life than I am. Okay. Um, that's all of, that's kind of nice though. <laughs> all of our homes she has bought and I haven't seen them. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah wow. So Dude, that's crazy. My wife's just good at it and I guess I'm just the workhorse that makes it happen. There you know? go, man. We gotta get her in here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good power, we're, we're power totally couple. Sure. <laughs> um, so that's kind of how we got into to doing some of that stuff, but it just, I was super nervous and didn't want to because I wanted to see those numbers. And probably yeah. for the past, prior to actually quitting, the six months, we, every month we would have the conversation. My wife was always like, we got this and to me no I just problem. couldn't I couldn't see the numbers yeah and yeah. you know being the one who principally I mean, you know my job is to provide for my family and stuff I wasn't comfortable with it at the time. yeah and so um, long story short kind of got into it the pandemic hit we had 90, what, what happened there a 95% cancellation $30,000 loss oh, wow dude um, things look terrible yet I looked at the numbers at the time and yeah. it worked and so we were like, all right, let's quit so during the pandemic. You quit during the pandemic. Dude, yeah. Did that take some respect. serious cojones? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, um, wow. And, and what happened to your occupancy rate after things kind of calmed down? I yeah. imagine a month later, what happened? So, uh, March 14th, my birthday is when everything uh, hit the fan. Of course. Okay. Uh, well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Of yeah. cancellations and stuff. <laughs> Shut everything down. Totally. I mean, so previously, you know, you get the, the notification from Airbnb or whatever platform. And yeah. it's like, yes, got a booking. Yep. Whereas right when the pandemic, Ching. You right. you hear that and it is the opposite. Yeah, of whatever the yeah. Ching sound yeah. is right. Yeah. You have cancellation, cancellation, <laughs> cancellation. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so it's just like oh whatever, man. It's just but we transitioned some of them to long term, some to like medium term. Yeah, you know, month to month kind of concept. Sure. sure. Uh, and then some we just dropped pricing because we knew people still needed to travel regardless. Right. right? Um, and we were able to get through about six weeks is when it was you know terrible and then after that it just kind of skyrocketed in the sense of um, people just want to do staycations oh yeah our whole clientele shifted so previously it was about 50 50 meaning 50 percent people in utah idaho yeah 50 percent out okay whereas Flying now in. Yeah, yeah now it's about 95 percent people within eight hours of the actual home location. Wow, dude, really? that's crazy, man. Um, so they, they just want to get away somewhere. Most, one of them, ironically enough, one of them, uh, they reached out and said, 
Hey, I'm the I'm your neighbor actually. I live five houses down. No way. I just want to be in any house but my house. No way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can we have a staycation at your house because it's not my hey, house? Hey, there's something magical about changing your environment. Totally. Though, right? Just getting out of like the bubble yeah, that you're see. used to when you get outside your environment. Like what happens to your creativity, your productivity? So I, I get it. Yeah, and yeah. so it was. Wow. We transitioned to staycations. Uh, one place uh, we actually we changed it to be more family friendly. Okay. We had a mural painted in the basement and just really transitioned it to family staycations, yeah. and, and it worked out. What's your coolest Airbnb? Do you have a unique one? Yeah, we have a very unique one that uh, Stonewall Castle. Dude, I think I've stayed there and I think I texted you about it. Oh, okay. I think I have. It's awesome. Yeah, Taylorsville? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think you sent me pictures. I sent you pictures. Of pictures of it. Of it. And he's just like, check out like, this I'm place. Like, you I'm look in. familiar. And it's I like, so the exterior is like a normal home, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then interior, it's a bona fide castle. It's amazing. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, um, you've collected yes, his dollars. I have yes. been there. I, I had to bail Let's that see, night because I had some family thing that yeah. showed up, but I was like, this is the coolest place. He, he sent me pictures yeah. and, he was, and I was just like. I was texting Nick on that. I was like, this is the coolest place I've ever Ironic. Been. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I remember. That's so you got a, a little theme going. So do you yeah. own that one or is that one you managed? So that's one of our clients. Okay. Okay. Um, okay long awesome. story short, with him, he did one wall in stone and then from there was like, maybe this wall, maybe this way. Oh, really? Just keep going. Keep what about going. if we put wood on the ceiling? Oh, what really? if I bought a suit of armor? Dude, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> it is, it's got to be Medieval the most times. unique, cool Airbnb in all of Utah. Yeah. I, that's I, freaking I think, dope, dude. I think. It's incredible. Jacuzzi. I mean, it's got like a screen in the jacuzzi. It, dude, it's, it's dude, that's amazing. There's a movie theater. And how much you rent that guy for? Um, so it kind of averages, but about 180 a night. Dude, that's pretty good, man. sleep a, a, quite a few people, Yeah, we right? can sleep up to eight people. Yeah. Dude, that's dope. So it's, that one's probably booked all the time. It really is. We've even transitioned. So in the pandemic, we kind of saw a lull. So we changed and added another listing that's a Harry Potter listing. Oh, cool. Um, so everything right. on the interior. Dude, the themes always do well. They really do, yeah. That's right. crazy, man. I, I So the city that I live in, they don't allow us to do the short-term rental. Okay. It drives me bonkers because I wanted to drop like 20 grand on a tree house. Sure. I was like, this is going to be amazing. And you can't do it. Yeah. You know, so I'm a little sad about that. Well, tell me about the management of other people's rentals. Like, how do you make money there? Is it uh, a nightly, you know, or is it sure. a management? Like, how does it work for you? So most for the industry it is profit sharing or okay. sales-based. Okay. So I mean, uh, and... Uh, that's kind of based off of owner payout is how we do it. So I mean, example, if your basement or your tree house, let's say you have it, yep. we manage it for you. Um, we generally do anywhere from 10 to 25% of what it is. Depending that, seems, on, that seems pretty fair. Depending on what we're doing. Sure. I mean, for some clients, we only do the marketing and customer service. Yeah. So it's 10%, whereas others, it's full on property management, um, concierge, all that kind of stuff. So it's yeah. higher. Yeah. Um, but owner payout tradition, like if you get a booking for $100, there's the service fee from the platform that's say like five dollars so okay. 95 dollars is your payout and okay, it hits my bank we and get, then we would get a 20 percent a 10 percent whatever the agreement is that's sexy man that. so you're like okay so i imagine you're if you're doing a profit sharing there's no risk on your part there's no risk on the other people's part yeah it's just a true win-win you're probably looking for and, more and you do yeah, everything rentals. yeah exactly yeah, yeah. i mean because that way, there's other places that they do, you know, a retainer and all that kind of stuff, which to some degree yeah. just doesn't motivate the property manager of to course. show work. Sure. Whereas this model, people feel secure that well, oh, yeah. you're gonna. I mean, the only way you get paid is if I'm successful. Yeah. yeah. And the higher rate that I get, sure. the more you get. Thus, it, it kind of well, you know, that, that works make, together. You know, you can tell your client saying, "Hey." I want to optimize the listing. I want to get the best reviews. Exactly. I want to slowly raise the price. Yeah. Why? Because you get more money. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Nick, Nick, Nick and I have, are super, super, super for performance based. Oh, yes. love performance Everything. based. Every, I mean, even our the, the president who runs our business, performance based. Like, like it. It's just way more motivation to you know actually grow it and build it and make it their own. So that's exactly. awesome, man. Well, I got, I got two questions. How much time does it take you to manage ten units? Or, or I should say 10 houses, because there's probably multiple units per, Sure. you know. Um, so I mean, it can take as much time as we want it to, and I, yeah. I think like Can it be pretty business, passive? But totally can. Okay. Um, I, I would That's say awesome. for most of our owners, it is passive. I mean, they, their Should involvement be, yeah. is probably anywhere from an hour to two hours a month, if that. Wow. Okay. Um, That's awesome. And then for us, it is, I mean, in all reality, if I wanted to leave for a week on vacation or had to help anybody, and, and that's a big reason why we did this is I wanted to alleviate, it. instead of spending, you know, the 40, 60 hours a week building someone else's business portfolio, right. yeah. 
I could spend that same amount of time working on my own stuff so that I could have the liberty to say, uh, I, I mean, a great example, my nephew um, kind of had a bad situation where he was living and I said, well, come move into one of our units and got yeah, ready. we Let's can go. do some work we can do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So you can start helping people out. Yeah. I mean, that was our whole vision was to be able to facilitate our assets, our time so that we could help others in what we're doing. Well, let, okay. So here's my follow up question. Cause I ask about time and I'm all, I, uh, you know, this is kind of personal. Sure. <laughs> financial freedom. Yeah. Do you feel like this has helped you get to financially free? Totally. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is, it's, it's probably the bigger um, income generator for our family, but yeah. at the same rate, it definitely has been a facilitator in that. It's it's also helped me facilitate so I can help with my wife's business, which is personalized soccer trainings. Cool. Um, awesome. As well as it alleviates for other things so that we can um, build not only the, the communities that we're in, but also build on our own assets. I mean, as you guys might've noticed, I'm doing a full paint job on my house right, right now. Right. That's cool, man. I love it. it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do. And, and what do you spend your time doing, man? Like uh, with, 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 you know, the level of passivity you've created through sure. this system in your business system like what do you what do you do so a lot of it now is just making connections of um, either ways to improve the property um, either photo shoots um, connecting with businesses to say you know we can offer this service mm -hmm. um, you know you have a bounce house we get a lot of requests for birthday parties okay you know it, is there a cut is there a void like that and so I spent a lot of time on that um, optimization as well as just talking with people who are interested and I mean I'll say this I do this for everybody but I mean if you're interested in Airbnb like call me I'm happy to chat yeah. and you yeah. know give you yeah. some pointers not I mean not paying it or anything no, I mean, sure. I'm because it's it's provided an income and flexibility for me so I'm more happy to offer that to other people and then I mean if we get further into it obviously we can work things out yeah. but um, well, what's the best way for them to reach you Never yeah so you um, my, my company is Kirkham Castles uh, so Kirkham Castles I love that castles with a K wow. um, you can reach us um, social media, Instagram, uh, um, Facebook, or you can give me a call, 208-252-4123. Um, email Aaron at Kirkham Castles with a K dot com. Dude, I freaking love it, man. Well, that was mind blowing. It sounds so like we got to get it. It's, it's, it's such a cool business, yeah. man. We got to get both you and your wife in here. Cause it sounds like she's also a baller. You guys like the sauce. And she's really, the, she's really the boss. There's, there's, there's no doubt about that. Get on out. We'll yeah. take her next. Yeah. There's no <laughs> doubt. But like her business is called train like a girl soccer. Um, I love it. That's the whole awesome. idea awesome. is, um, personalized it's female trainers for female players mm -hmm. yeah but it's yeah. not just her but she also has eight other trainers that she's working with um, wow that because the whole idea is just to provide safe spaces for girls right. as well as right. empowerment of females dude i freaking well, love that's it huge. Yeah. I, I i grew up filming girls soccer in high, in high school and yeah, and it's, yeah it's, it's true it's it's always men coaches and yeah and uh so that, that that's that's a huge need that's awesome so mm -hmm. super cool man well hey thanks okay. for joining us in the limo yeah, yeah thanks, thank you dude. Guys. that was awesome yeah we'll see you at a limo if you are a small business owner, we are looking for you, baby. We have developed a free course to help you take your small business and go national in just two to four months. Learn exactly how licensing can take your business to the next level. We're talking explosive growth. Check out the link in the description. It's 100% free.